my name is Millie and I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am here in my kitchen today and so excited to share one of my favorite recipes with you guys. It is my lentil soup um, filled with tons of veggies and potatoes and of course lentils. I am super excited because this has been one of my favorite go-to lunch ideas uh, for my husband and I. So easy to do. Um, it is so filling and it's also low in calorie density because of all the veggies that you get to eat. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using to make my soup. So I'm going to be adding about a cup of green lentils, three carrots. I'm going to dice these up into little squares. I'm going to be adding one jalapeno um, with the seeds and everything because I like a little bit of spice. I'm going to be adding a zucchini, a yellow squash. Uh, two potatoes, I'm going to cut these into cubes, two tomatoes, uh, one bell pepper, and then another half of bell pepper that I had in my fridge, and I'm going to be using the half a tomato as well. I'm also going to be adding um, some corn to that. I'm going to be adding the whole can. I'm going to be using this um, no chicken vegetable bouillon thing. It's... Um, it's vegan and it's not my favorite. I typically go with just a regular vegetable bouillon, but they didn't have it, so I got that one. Um, I got that at Whole Foods. Um, I'm adding a bit of salt. I'm gonna be adding pepper, some cumin, and this 21 seasoning blend. Um, you could also add some peas to it, a can of peas or a mi mixed vegetable blend. Um, but I prefer to use uh, fresh vegetables um, instead of uh, frozen. So this is what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna start by chopping up my uh, potatoes. They are so filling and so delicious. Who doesn't love potatoes? Moving on to the carrots. Um, I love carrots. Carrots um, are just so delicious and you can sneak them in just about everything. My bell pepper, same thing with that. I love adding bell pepper to soups and to spaghetti sauces. Chop up your zucchini. It's such a, a low calorie density vegetable. And so is the yellow squash. So these are gonna be perfect in filling you up without adding all those extra calories. All right, and this is my favorite part, adding the jalapeno. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna dice it up very finely. You could go ahead and take the seeds out, but I love it like this. Um, I love a little kick and it's just my favorite. Look at all the veggies that I'm gonna be adding to the soup. This is a ton of stuff. Huh. So you see, this soup is going to be just super filling. It's gonna be um, so tasty. I mean, it has potatoes, so it makes it filling. It has zucchini, squash, um, jalapenos to give it that extra spice, carrots, bell pepper, um, along with the lentils. So this is a great soup that is going to just be so delicious. And I'm sure that if your husband um, questions if he's going to be full with the meal, um, rest assured he is. I make this for my husband too. And he has it for his lunch while at work and he loves it. Um, he's left full, satisfied. And you are going to need a small blender you could also use just a regular blender but i prefer using my magic bullet for this um, i'm adding my tomatoes um, in here chopped up and then i'm also adding my cilantro which i forgot to note in the intro and i also forgot to note the two most important things which is the onion and the garlic my bad um, I just put those in everything pretty much, so I don't know why I forgot to add it, but yeah, you're gonna do, do that. You're gonna then add a little bit of water just to be able to get it mixing. I love how handy the magic bullet is. I really don't have to um, take out just my, uh, my bigger blender and bother with the cleanup. I just find it so much easier. So just gonna blend that up 
and wait until it's uh, smooth and creamy. Um, something that I actually use instead of the tomato but I didn't have on hand was tomato sauce, just a little can of tomato sauce. And so you could use that in replacement of the tomatoes, but whichever you prefer. And so this is going to be how it turns out. It doesn't look too pleasing, but it's gonna add depth to the soup. All right, so starting off now with a pot of hot water. You're gonna go ahead and add your lentils in after they've been rinsed um, and then just mix it around so that they don't stick and you're just gonna let them boil. Um, and once the water comes to a boil, you're going to start by adding your vegetable bouillon um, or you can also use vegetable broth if you prefer. Just gonna mix that in, make sure that it, um, you know, the lentils cook in the broth and now you're gonna go in and add your um, tomato sauce that you just made and it's gonna boil all together. Once you have left your lentils to cook, you're gonna go ahead and start adding the vegetables. And this is the exciting part because you're gonna get to see this boring soup um, turn into just vibrant and um, colorful. So this is my favorite part. Just look at all the vegetables you're gonna have inside of you. Doesn't that look delicious? Now that you have added all of your chopped vegetables, you're gonna go ahead and give that a good mix. You're just gonna make sure it's mixed thoroughly. And now you're gonna be adding your can of corn. And you could also add, like I mentioned earlier, a can of peas. That's really good too. I just didn't have one on hand. Now, because of all the vegetables that it has, we're gonna go ahead and add some more hot water to this. Um, and go ahead and add as much as you want for the consistency that you're looking for. And yeah, I mean, if you want um, so that it doesn't get watered down or anything, go ahead and add some more bouillon if you want to, um, however you prefer. And now moving on to our spices, I'm gonna go ahead and add some ground cumin. Um, and all of these spices are gonna just add just the depth of flavor to this uh, soup. And go ahead and add your 21 seasoning blend. This one is from Trader Joe's. Add as much um, a black pepper as you want. And now I am adding some more cumin and go ahead and just add um, any other spices that you think uh, would work with this soup. Play around with it. You could go ahead and omit some things out or add some things in. It's totally up to you. It's so delicious and hearty. I hope that you enjoy it. All right, so here it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that simmer up until the vegetables are cooked. My favorite way to serve this soup is with tapatio. Um, I think that is what makes this soup delicious, honestly, and any soup that I have. So don't forget to add that in. Hello, I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. Thank you so much for watching and for tuning in today. I am so looking forward to hearing um, if you guys like the recipe, if your family loved it, um, my husband and I personally have this recipe at least uh, twice a week for our lunches and it is super filling, super satisfying and you could eat a lot of it because it's just filled with so many um, low calorie density veggies and you have your lentils and your potatoes that keep you satisfied and keep you full. So I really hope uh, that you enjoy it please go ahead and like and subscribe. Go ahead and comment down below some other ideas, uh, recipes that you guys would like to see. Thank you so much.